Hey everybody, Shay here. Welcome to another random reaction. Not to Baldur's Gate 3, although I'm extremely excited <laughs> about Baldur's Gate 3. I was deeply invested in Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. I played the hell out of those games. Uh, anyways, I, what I came looking for was a trailer for Divinity Original Sin. The original one, or I mean the enhanced version of the original one. But a trailer for that, not quite, I don't want to go to 2 yet. I just want to, I might watch both of them. <laughs> this, I probably watch both of them this sitting, but I'm going to start with Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition 1, but I found uh, the channel Larian Studios, and so developers of Divinity Original Sin and currently and switching to Baldur's Gate, oh my god, 3. So anyways, uh, that's for a later date. Uh, I do want to watch that trailer as well. But first, let's go to videos. Uh, let me comb through their library here in this new setup. <laughs> this one actually looks decent. I'm learning as I go, man. Now, I was aware of this as a Kickstarter back, back in the day because I was starting to do Kickstarters, so we got over my head. There's the Divinity Original Sin comes to Kickstarter, here's why, nine years ago, nine years ago. So in that time, then they did the Enhanced Edition, etc., etc. So we got Divinity Original Sin 2 trailer, there we go. So here's the four years ago trailer. The hell, that's the trailer for Divinity, that's two. No, I want Divinity 1, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just search for this, aren't I? I found it, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition Overview. It's not a trailer. No trailer, we got, here we go. Let's just go for this one. So this is from August 12th, 2015. I mean, that's more like something I had in mind. CRPG isometric. Fantasy. It's pretty. Divinity, original okay, so there's a the co-op. It's possible. Oh, couch co-op. Couch co-op. That's deeply reactive. That would be trickier to figure out. Unless someone knows that this can be done uh, online. Co-op. But what starts as a routine investigation of course. brings you to the center of a plot. That's sort of wonderfully tropey. You oh. are in charge of the characters you'll play, from their looks to their class to their talents and skills. From their looks. Twelve presets, or invent one of your own. Perhaps you'll choose a battle mage. That's just for yours, right? Not all of them. Or a wizard with a penchant for picking pockets. That would be. And of course, you can hire companions and henchmen to grow your party. Okay, the so ones you hire are likely presets. Skills and spells, but don't forget. That's standard. Interactive environment to your uh -huh. advantage. I do remember something about that with Divinity is that you can synergy, you can trigger synergy sort of impacts with your spells and your environment. Or simply venture forth and learn about the world of Rivalon. Play separately online or side by side using split screen in drop in, drop out cooperative multiplayer. Okay. Debate. That might have answered. Or even compete for leadership. Is that rock, paper, scissors? How do you want to proceed? Okay, that's very RP. It gives you the option making a decision. You make checks, you know. Need an important document? Swipe it from its owner. Just keep your sword at the ready in case of any unsettling consequences. It's pretty versatile and explore and reap your rewards. I do like the idea of the potential synergies inside the environment. And no pet like creating chaos by accident. That's a, a fully that'd be fun. An expanded storyline with a brand new extended ending. New skills, spells, this is the enhanced edition and overview powers, trailer. So and much more. The deceitfully vibrant world of Rivalon has never okay. been so expansive. Divinity, I mean, original sin. It gives you, it gives me the vibes of Xbox One, PS4, PC, Mac, and Steam Xbox, huh? this holiday season. So stay tuned, Source Hunters. I mean, it's got a bit of that uh, Dragon Age vibe, of course, I mean, it's way, way older, but uh, it looks prettier, like way, way, way prettier. <laughs> so there's that. And so with that, uh, I would be playing, I know these are going to be massive games. It would take me a long time to get through these CRPGs. I am really feeling like playing CRPGs lately. And so it's going to happen. Uh, but these are very long. And of course, I got a lot of stuff to play. But um I do want to sort of, I, I've never even watched the trailers for these things. I haven't delved into them. I've heard about them. People have talked about them. The community has mentioned them inside the comments, has recommended them for years. <laughs> I've had them on wish list. I just bought them all recently in the last Steam sale. I just like, screw it. Let's put them in the library. Let's make a decision. 
and then we'll just figure out timing and and uh, how to pull all this off later. I, I'm not that gets overwhelming. Let's go to Divinity Original Sin 2 trailer. This one is from August 2017. Two years later. Two years later. Yeah, but. I mean, they would have been the first game would have released because of Kickstarter. Then they would have enhanced it in 2015. Oh, that's way prettier. <laughs> I mean, the other one was already pretty, but that looked really pretty. This looks really pretty. This looks really good. Spiritually, it feels the same. But for two years. <laughs> I keep thinking. I, I was thinking of... Uh, Metal Gear every time I see shit like that. Uh, oh, damn. Okay. Is that where... Oh, is that oil? So, yeah, there it is. Okay. Four-player co-op now. Yeah, yeah. I was aware of this one being more... Yeah, four-player potential here. And I heard it say it's got a really... I just realized I'm talking over really- is that really loud? I can't wait to explore. I already got really good, um, uh, what was I gonna say, like a tool kit behind, uh, for DMing via the game? Am I imagining something crazy here? I have this, like, memory of potentially Matt Mercer <laughs> running something with characters inside this game. I don't know why I feel like I have this memory and I don't know where I got it and where I saw it. <laughs> I could swear, I can swear. I saw maybe an hour of something and the engine that they were using was divinity is that a thing am i thinking of a whole different game or a whole different thing was that a promo i'm not sure what that was for i don't know how long ago that was i've got sometimes there's these phantoms and memories in my brain <laughs> anyway so do i go deeper into this like co-op so uh th this might be I, I might be going too ahead of myself here i am curious though but because i'm there <laughs> I need to get the early games first, you know, but I kind of want to know what the potential is here for collabing, you know, in These the future. These friends are playing Divinity Original Sin 2 in co-op. Two of them are playing be in fun. split screen with control. I'll do it solo, but it'd be fun to consider it. And mouse. They are on their way to kill a giant void wolf. That's Three so good. Friends are loyal so and good. true. One of them isn't. Oh. Meet Apostle. Apostle has just stolen a sword from a shop. He has generously decided to give it to his friend Brian. Brian accepts the sword as oh, he no. believes Apostle is his friend and would never betray him. Oh no. Brian is, wrong. Brian is stopped by guards on patrol. They search him for stolen goods. Oh no. They find the sword. <laughs> Brian gets thrown in jail. The two good friends sneak into the jail and find Brian's cell. They try to pick the lock but are caught by the guards. Oh, Everyone no. is now in jail. <laughs> Everyone that is except Apostle. Oh no! Apostle finally decides to help. His okay, friend. this is a really fun Apostle trail. Fights his way into the jail. <laughs> That's a really he fun way of doing this. In his way. When he kills the last oh, guard and gosh. opens the jail cell, his friends are no longer there. They have escaped through a secret passage. Confused, Apostle. <laughs> this is the cell phone this is madness. This is madness. Uh, Lena and Kevin have left Apostle a gift, a package of twenty healing potions. Or Apostle doesn't know it. But these potions are poisoned because his friends <laughs> use their crafting skills to poison them. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's too much. It's too granular. You understand? This is too his granular. Share his optimism. Oh no! Apostle fights the Void Walker. He's struggling. To boost his health, he takes one of the poisoned health potions. Oh no! Apostle gets poisoned and doesn't know why. His <laughs> friends laugh at him. killing me. Then they decide to go help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Together, the four friends take uh, on the Void the Woken. The four friends. The Void Woken is very big. Also, there are flying dwarves. Kevin is an earth mage. He lays puddles of oil around the enemy. Hey, Alina yeah. uses her pyromantic ability Synergy. to blow up the oil. Yeah, that's cool. Soon, the creature is no more. Oh, that's cool. The team uses its but if that's made out of wood, wouldn't the wood then like, catch on fire like easier and stuff like that? That'd be cool if it, like, like, it could have gone Even crazy, you, crazy. Muscle. It is on fire. Right there. Oh wow, that was dangerously, chaotically granular. I don't think I want to do this in co-op. It's like you never know how you proceed, how you're moving forward. It's just too too crazy. Maybe I shouldn't contemplate that. Although it's sort of fun from a tabletop RPG perspective, 
running it as a tabletop or like an actual RP run of it, uh, it could be it could be intriguing, but <laughs> the game would never get done. I think I've seen enough of uh, this one. This was it looks good. It looks good. I think the dynamic just as a, just the base game I think would be fun to play. Mechanically, it looks like a fun trip. And uh, Baldur's Gate, everybody. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll react to that trailer at some point. I don't know how far along that is in development. I can swear I heard something about, is this next year? Something like that. Uh, kind of an outro talking about something different. Hey, we're on Larian Studios. I'm talking about Larian Studios as part of the Divinity 1 and 2 trailer reactions. I like it. I can't wait to play that. I don't know when. I'm going to have time to do that. And like I mentioned in the previous uh, reaction to Disco Elysium, there are some polls running on the channel right now for a couple games uh, that are community picks and all of this gets consolidated into a massive list for last year and this year together and then this year alone and it helps me make decisions on which game uh, that I want to bump up in the list and uh, choose from. So if you haven't voted already, uh, especially if you're part of the community, it helps me understand what the community is interested in uh, so that I can have uh, an easier time picking something random, not randomly, but it sort of feels like random all the time. But in any case, don't forget to get out there, uh, vote even if you see the, the game twice. If you like the game that much, vote for it twice. It matters. Trust me in the way that this stuff uh, calculates things behind the scenes. And on the channel updates, I will give you the update along the way. Um, and of course, there's a lot of repetition right now because I'm trying to now focus all of this list down into a more like a top 10-ish kind of list um, that gets us to the end, to the end of the year. And uh, hopefully, now that things are settling down around here, I'm gonna have more time to be able to play uh, more regularly. Hopefully, crossing fingers. But in the interim, I'm gonna be doing trailer reactions so I can actually consume some of the uh, just actually get a sense for myself like what do I want to play and then I will match it with what the community wants me to play or what they're interested in what they enjoy most whatever that whatever that means to you the vote is whatever it means to you you know what I mean uh, because it's all sort of a, it's a bunch of signals that are informing me uh, to move forward from this so there you go there's another uh, trailer update and I will be going through the list of especially the CRPGs right now so that's a wrap I will be doing Pillars of Eternity one and two trailer reactions soon just to get a sense for that I I'm starting to presume it's going to be more or less the same it's a crpg right it's just like the little idiosyncrasies of uh, the differences of how they're designed uh but uh they're more or less the same sensibilities i feel are behind the game um they're crpgs <laughs> they're crpgs fantasy crpgs and uh i think it's more like the world the world behind the the, the lore behind the game is obviously going to be the thing that makes it uh, different um as a as an experience so there you go. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'll catch you in the next stack of episodes. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire everybody. Peace.